Hi, welcome to the video. So, and also welcome to the 1 million journey. I hope that you check it out. If you find that the video will help you, uh, great. I hope that you hit a like or maybe subscribe. Uh, and ultimately, I hope that you help others, okay? So that this video allows you to do something to share your knowledge with the, uh, with the world. So in this video, I will go over how I actually project or mirror my iPad, is something that you see right on the screen, into uh, my iMac or into a Mac Air or something of that nature. So how do you do it? There's basically two ways that I do it. Uh, there is one which I use uh, QuickTime Player and I'll talk about that at the second half. Um, and the other one is actually through AirPlay. Now, AirPlay is fantastic, but for whatever reason, uh, Apple hasn't really allowed AirPlay from directly from an iPad to an iMac, for example, or a, or a Mac Book or Mac Pro or something. Now, I don't know why that is, and I think in the future they may do it, but until that time, you know, how do you actually AirPlay? So what you see on the screen is my iPad, which is projected through through AirPlay. And I kind of go about by using um, an app which is free. And there are numerous apps that are free that I have tried out. And I'm kind of cheating uh, here. So what I use is I actually use Zoom to project my screen on. But it's not necessarily done so that I do a meeting with somebody. It is because maybe I want to screen record. Uh, I'm doing something on my iPad, so I just want to be able to see it on my iMac. So I'm not necessarily in a meeting. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to kind of go through through scratch. So let me kind of stop this. Okay, so I'm going to shut down uh, Zoom altogether. Okay, so I'm going to shut this down. And basically, so yes, you, you would need Zoom to do it, but you don't have to be running a meeting to do it. You just kind of set up a fake meeting. So the first thing um, that I do is I actually, you know, open up Zoom, which is what you saw here. And if you open a new meeting, okay, so you have Zoom that is uh, popping up. So it's starting there on the screen, as you can see. So I'm going to join it like I normally would. Now, I'm going to mute everything. I'm going to get rid of the video because I'm not really doing a Zoom meeting at all. And in Zoom, you have your share screen option. So you have numerous ways to share things. And when you do that, notice that they have an actual AirPlay. So when you hit this AirPlay, okay, and you click on share, it's going to tell you, all right, so now you can connect your actual iPad and it would project out onto the screen. And one thing is, you know, notice that you have to be on the same Wi-Fi. And when you go into your uh, settings on your iPad, you're gonna scroll from the upper right-hand corner, okay, so that you have, and I'm going to uh, show you the images there as well that you have in the video, so you can see that. And you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the screen mirroring option, and you will notice that there is, you know, a zoom option that you have. Okay, so you're gonna hit that zoom option, and there you go, your whole screen is now projected on, okay, back in. And now you can resize this if you like, okay, so, if you do it, you know, if I'm doing it from the bottom, notice I'm kind of resizing it back and forth, okay? So something that you're happy with, and you can put it anywhere on the screen. And now you can do whatever you like, right, with the actual um, iPad. So you can load up other apps, you know, I mean, I love uh, investing, so you know, this is one of them. Whatever it may be, you can do, and then you can share on the actual screen. And this is directly through AirPlay. Once you're done, you can stop sharing on the Zoom and just shut down Zoom and then you're done. So it's kind of a little bit of a hack that you can project out without doing any connections at all that you have. And the main reason why I do this is because the other option that you can do to share your actual screen is through using QuickTime. But if you use QuickTime, then that option 
okay, will not allow you to, for example, use QuickTime to screen record the whole thing because you're already using okay, QuickTime to project your actual iPad onto the screen. So if you wanna see how to actually set up QuickTime, I'm going to do a link on the video, okay, up above, and that video is actually a video which okay, talks about what happens or what goes wrong, right, with QuickTime because a lot of people have struggled, me as well, on connecting to QuickTime. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like using QuickTime. It's not as reliable for whatever reason. And it for, for some reason on my iMac, especially when I am recording, uh, it, it buffers quite a lot for me. And I have found actually using the this AirPlay is much better. All right. So again, so in summary, what you can do is you can either use Zoom through sharing and that allows you to share that screen through AirPlay or you can use QuickTime directly. So you can open up QuickTime. You know, you can connect your actual iPad right in, okay, using your um, USB uh, C or whichever cable that you have. And again, you can watch that video, okay, that I linked before and I'll also put it in the show notes, okay, that you have it. Um, and those are the two most reliable ways that I have found. Um, they're free completely and there's nothing to do, right? So, you know, thank you to Zoom, honestly, uh, because they have allowed this sharing now in such an easy way. It's, it's pretty cool. So anybody who's making videos and using their iPad, for example, if you're drawing, you're doing notes, right? You're sharing something, it's just so simple, okay? So I hope this has helped you. If it did, you know, hit a like uh, or subscribe to the, to the channel, although the channel is uh, primarily driven by what's on my mind and how I'm gonna be helping others. And one of the things is through producing a lot of math videos as you probably have noticed. Okay, so thanks for watching everyone. I hope that it helps you and share the, uh, share the experience with others. Cheers. Bye.